Welcome to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Professor Emeritus Dr. Jim Dufek joins us to discuss a very special event to mark Southeast Missouri State's 150th anniversary. Hello, Dr. Dufek. Mike, good to be back. Welcome back. Grounds. I know. Yeah. It's good to have you back. Thank you. We were just reminiscing. It's been a little while. Been a while. Yeah. Liz yeah. did a nice job talking about the building of downtown Cape, you know, where Absolutely. all this stuff. And I'm excited to bring Cedric back to to see all the stuff that he when he was here. So I kind of jumped the gun while we we're talking. No, about not at all. Um, Cedric the Entertainer coming to the Show Me Center. Tell us about it. Cedric the Entertainer, Cedric Kyles is a former student of ours here at SEMO, graduated in 87 and has become a, you know, a monster player in Hollywood with movies and his own TV show on CBS and has agreed to come back to do a benefit concert just for the students of mass media and his fraternity cap Alpha Psi. Wow. So all the money raised will go right back to the students of mass media to help them with conferences and going attending you know various programs. It's not going to be a scholarship. It's going to be hands-on money to take students to have a practical experience mm. to to go to uh, national conferences to, to learn from you know experts in the field. Sure. So this takes place March 23rd and can I show this Anthony? Yeah. <laughs> Anthony's, Anthony's in the control, control room. Yeah. I'm going to show this and if I screw this up. That's a wonderful poster. It's a great poster. When, do you, when, any idea when he was, last time he was back in Cape? Uh, he, oh no, last time he was 10 years ago he came back for, okay. uh, uh, we honored him with uh, uh, an alumni award. I think, wow, more than 10 years ago, 12 years ago so far. So, okay. Yeah. But we keep in contact and uh, his management team, we've been working on this for a year and a half, two years to get him back and this is the date we settled on. We started this during COVID, when could we come back and do it? Mm -hmm. And uh, he's agreed to come back and um, do an evening with us. Great. So it's, uh, we're very excited about it. We have ticket sales, uh, showmecenter.biz. And again, it's benefit concerts, so prices are ranging from 50 bucks to 120 bucks. Um, and it's a very small, intimate arena style. It's sure. not, you know, you're not great distances away as you would be. I, I looked up, he's doing two, con two concerts in San Jose and uh, LA, first part of March, and then he goes to uh, Vegas with Tony Braxton. And those tickets, really? those tickets go clear up to 700 bucks a piece. Oh, so, and that's, and I've been to those, you know, the casinos, those amphitheaters there, you know, you're way far back. Yeah, it's, so this is going to be a great opportunity for people to see a major Hollywood performer come in. He's, he's family oriented. He's clean. He's, you know, does a great job of, you know, with comedy. Mm -hmm. And we've had a, a great media partners like yourself that have helped us get the word out and uh, to, to bring people together for this great evening. So is, you, you taught him, correct, yep, here? Yep, yep, yep. Can I show this? Yes. Anthony, my director, <laughs> you can get that shot. Can you see it? Can you zoom in? I show this because people don't realize that um, this, is, this is the only. Here we go. Here's right there. Here we go. There Here we is. go. See him? So he's right there? Yeah. Pull your phone. There you go, right there. See him? And the guy next to him works for you. That's right. Jimmy Sapansky Jim works Sapansky. for you. A lot of those guys still <clears throat> still around the area and uh, want to come back and see him. So we're excited to bring the kind of the troops back to to get back with the guy that they So, so with. what was his path like, you know, after SEMO? Or, well, or, 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 you know, was he, did you guys, did you think, man, this guy's got some pizzazz? No, he, know, he was very outgoing, very likable. Uh, everybody loved working with him. He was very hard work ethic. Um, Worked a little bit in advertising and then got into insurance and sold insurance in St. Louis. Okay. And on a on a bet or a dare, did a, a comedy club in Chicago, and won. And no, that started it no off. No kidding. Yeah, it was one of those. You know, you, if you win, you get twenty five bucks. Yeah. And he and a friend went to Chicago and and uh, did the comedy thing. And I don't know, I think maybe a dozen performers, and he got top billing. And after that, it was kind of like. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then got picked up. And then his big break was uh, the original Kings of Comedy. Right, and then okay. he did Johnson Family Vacation. He's got 40 films in the can, and he's got you mm -hmm. know, TV shows where he's done guest appearances on. But uh, CBS right now, The Neighborhood, right. number one show on C number one comedy on CBS. And in syndication now, he's in syndication full, and uh, it's the number one syndicated show going on right now, too. So. Wow. He's, uh, yeah, he's done very well for himself. I think stand-up comedy is like that would has to be one of the hardest things to do can't imagine out of 
you know, yeah. any, almost any like career path that you could yeah. choose. Yeah. I think that is one of the toughest things. Comedy, to we always face. talk about that in, in, in dealing with production. You know, comedy does not translate well. Right. You know, if you look at British comedy, American comedy, European comedy, it's like, what are the, what, what's so funny about that? And to be <laughs> yeah. able to pick up that and to have an audience follow you, it's, it's, it's a tough gig to do. And he's got a pretty big following. So this is part of the 150th, 150th it'll, it'll anniversary. Help us, correct. It'll help us close out the end of March. Uh, we tried to work it around close to the gala, but we just couldn't get into a schedule. So um, last And that's year, April 6th? April 6th. April 6th. The gala event at the Show Me Center. And so we are we are picking this up right before the end of the, probably the last big event sure. before the gala, and then of course the eclipse is the end of the 150th. The uh, end of the 150th. Correct. We started in March of 23, and we end in April of 24 for the 150th. So have you been a part of a lot of the different parts of the overall anniversary year, or has this kind of been Just your this. primary focus? Just this. Okay. I, you know, I've been it'll be I've retired a year and a half, and. Uh, I started this and I wanted to follow through with it, so I've been volunteering time uh, to work with our media partners and, and, and his management team to get everybody together. So that's been my you know, gift back to the 150th. And I think we've talked before, there will be an opening act for him, is that correct? Yeah, or? and I don't know who that is yet. They're okay. going to bring in someone from the St. Louis area that's just getting started, and they're, they're, their team is going to bring him down that day, and he'll be the opening act and then he'll be the main performance. We have a VIP room that's already sold out. Uh, we have a, a donor room that's going to be an opportunity for, you know, for major donors to be able to meet and greet. But again, it's the, the mom and pop seats that are all gonna be good seats, starting at 50 bucks and uh, great seats on the floor, close to the, close to the stage. We're just very excited about him coming back to see us. That, that's fantastic. Yeah. And showmecenter.biz. Showmecenter.biz, it. it is, because you, you call it up. Uh, you know, punch up the QR code. We've got a lot of media partners put, putting it out there for us right now. You can see the map of where all the seats are, and you can then pick your seat out, reserve it. So it's a really nice way of being able. You're not guessing where you're going to see general admission. There are no, there are no general admissions. You just um, you know, buy your seat, and that's what you're going to get. Fantastic. So, yeah. All right, real quick. Sure. Because you know how time goes on this oh, show. Oh, it just flies. The retirement going good? Doing well. You yeah, miss well. you miss this. Miss it a lot. Miss yeah. it a lot. Miss miss the, the young people that are smarter than I am, more <laughs> talented. It's great to have them to, to see them back. And Tom White and Anthony Shear are doing fabulous work here. I can see that. So it's going going great. I happened upon this show, clicking through one morning, and I'm like, stole stopping ground, still there. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you 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 left it, you know, in great hands. Yeah, I did. With, yeah, with, they're, with they're doing the great. well, you but you you built it to be well, left in great hands. Well, so thank you, thank you. Um, well, this is exciting. Yeah, and, very much. And, and great, obviously, for the university. It's a benefit show, and uh, all the money going to back mass right media to the students. students. Yeah, and, it's not. It's not. You know, it's money goes right back. I we used to take students to the national broadcasting convention every year. That money will help them go to that, also to other conferences where you're not just hearing about it, you actually get engrossed in what's going on. So we're, we're past the COVID Zoom stuff. Let's get there and get our hands into it. So Fantastic. that's going to go. So good to see you, Mike. Thank you. Thanks for having us on. Thanks again, Dr. Dufek. And thank you for joining us today for Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration among the Department of Mass Media at SEMO, the city of Cape Girardeau, and River Radio. Our executive producer is N. Young Lee, and I'm Mike Rennick. Thank you for watching.